Hello guys, so I'm going by a track by track description of each of my songs that are on Man I Don't Feel 18, which came out on Friday. Here you go. Your Mistake is Unfixable is the intro to this album. It is a very special song because I, this was a scrapped, this was a scrapped intro to my album, my self-titled album. It was scrapped because Spotify did not allow it. So there is your intro. Your mistake is unfixable. It's about a person that is really heartbroken that that person made a mistake like that. Like murder, for example, your mistake is unfixable. It won't bring that person back. Yeah, I don't like the description of this song, good to be honest. Mad About 18 is about a soul that really wants to date someone, but he is just too old for that person. He is 18 and the other person is 16. And that's not acceptable. So... Yeah, this song was really hard to write, gonna be honest. Self-pity is about a person that is giving themselves too much stress, too much hate on them, and it's giving them some self-pity. That's just terrible for the brain. Be Free is a song for my original self-titled album. But I went ahead and re-recorded it for Man I Don't Feel 18 because I, my vocal cords have grown from that. And Be Free is about being free from any hate and any self-conscious listocrats. And Without You is one of my first songs that came off of 15 EP. I was 15 years old when I released the song first. The original version is on my YouTube, but I have the new version on SoundCloud. Without You is a broken soul that is trying to date someone, but he feels like he's not interested. Forever is about a soul that is trying to break out of being forever in someone's shoes. That person's been in their shoes literally forever and they are trying to get out of those shoes love me is about a maniatic freak that literally goes ahead and loves someone and wants to go ahead and pursue a romantic relationship and is trying to make it happen psychologically so yeah Shaken Up is the first single off of this album, so Shaken Up is about a person that didn't know that this person was going to go ahead and break up with them. That's pretty much all I can sum up for this song. Be Free Part 2 is just a continuation of the song, so I don't need to explain that song. Pressure is from my album Mason Lambert, my self-titled album, and so is Fix It. So those two songs I felt I needed to go ahead and re-record because it has been a year or two since I released them. And my voice had changed in the last two years. I went ahead and listened to myself the other day and I saw a big difference, gonna be honest there. Cloud Stare is just about staring at the clouds and feeling sad about past relationships. Before You Go Away, Mason's version is also from, it's from Birthdays in Malibu. So, my friend Brooke actually went ahead and named the album. That was why, that's who I took inspiration from on Birthdays in Malibu. As a birthday present, I went ahead and told her that 
I asked her what should my album be called. She said, Birthdays in Malibu. Like, okay. That's interesting, but I sticked around with it, and it worked out. Even had me, it was even on streaming platforms for a little while, then it got taken down. So, freedom is about being free from the hate of the world and the world as we know it. Summer House is a song that I really wanted to go ahead and really up and up the vocals on because on part of the song, you can't really hear me at all. So I'll probably be fixing that soon. I'll probably be removing the original version here and making the vocals actually loud enough that you can hear me. Fake Mason's version. So, Fake Mason's version was a last-minute edition. So, it was a last-minute edition because I re-recorded it last night and released it this morning. So, think about last minute. Find This Life is kind of Christian, but kind of not. So, I talked about God a little bit in Find This Life, but not in the way that you would think, because there's a lot in this album that is really, really, really effed up. Yeah, I'm just telling you guys now. Madness, it's about a person that is very mad about a person and is trying to pursue anything to go ahead and ruin that person's life, which I kind of hate the idea of the story, but honestly, let's move on. You Knew is about a person going ahead and th- didn't, not knowing how they got there and knowing they did something wrong. And that other person knew. By the way, there's two versions of You Knew. There's the Mason's version from my... Or, excuse me. My deluxe edition of M- Mason Lambert. And the dance mix with the album. Away originally came out on Birthdays in Malibu. But I went ahead and moved it to my self-titled album... And now I've moved it over to Man I Don't Feel 18. So, you're welcome, you guys. New love is about a person that is looking for new love and is willing to do anything to love someone. Love affair is about a love affair that people do frequently and is kind of messed up. So, that's all I can say about that song. Favor is a edgy rock song that I didn't know I was missing a version of Favor. I had no song called Favor in my mind until the starting of this album. So, you're welcome, you guys. Creeper was another one of those last-minute additions. Creeper came out today. So, Creeper is a rock rock out song. And is really good to listen to. Also, it's not explicit. At least it's not explicit. Punked came off the same album as Suicide Door. Which was my self-titled album. So, this song is about not knowing where to begin. Know where all this goes. Yeah, I'm quoting from my song. Be free. Be Strong. It's an awesome world out there. I Miss You is about missing someone. And frequently it's very, very edgy and kind of sad. Losing You is about a person that lost someone. Personally, this song is about a person I lost that our area lost three years ago. This person was in my class. And I don't want to share that person's name, so I'm just going to leave it there. 
Happy is about a person that is happy, not really happy. That's all I can say. Wish you would stay is about a person wishing that that person that he loves would stay. That person is really devastated that that person left. Liar is about a person that is guilty of a crime playing the victim. This song is pretty much going ahead and being based off of Law and Order SVU that I've been watching Law and Order lately. So, yeah. And then finally, I hope it's finally, Suicide Door. Suicide Door came off of my self-titled album, but was requested to bring back because people saw that I took it down. They were like, why did you take it down? This is a very good song. And I realized, oh shit, I took down a very popular song in the Trico community. And I kind of screwed up. I'm like, okay, I don't have the song anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and re-record it so that I have it on file now. So now I have it on SoundCloud now. I'm probably going to upload the rest of my songs here very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Out now.